Murphy, uh, Lieutenant Jeff Kramer with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. As we continue our investigative effort this morning into the shooting of Tom Clements, uh, our investigators remain very active this morning and certainly taking advantage of the daylight that we now have uh, to make sure that we're doing uh, in-depth uh, searches of the surrounding area immediately outside the home and whatnot. Uh, one item of interest that we want to get out uh, very quickly and allow uh, for members of the community, members of the public to perhaps provide us some assistance with. We do have a vehicle of interest that we want to describe. Uh, this vehicle was observed by one of the local residents here about 8.30 last night, which of course is only about 17 minutes prior to us receiving the 911 call regarding this shooting. That vehicle of interest was observed near the intersection of Colonial Park Drive and Scarsbrook Court. And Scarsbrook Court is just one street beyond uh, the home where the investigation is underway. It's within a few hundred yards of that home. That vehicle was observed by this local resident uh, parked there. The vehicle was running, but it was unoccupied at the time. And there was an observation that it was a uh, perhaps a 90s model type vehicle. It was very boxy in its style. Uh, something very similar to perhaps a 90s model Lincoln, although it's not definitive that it was a Lincoln. Uh, this is described as being a two-door car, again very boxy. It's either black or dark colored. It's also being described as being very shiny. Uh, the dash lights uh, were on, I guess, at the time, and those dash lights were observed kind of two um, circular shaped dash components, if you will, in front of the steering wheel, and the, the lighting for those dash lights was evidently green in color. Um, when the homeowner, or the local resident rather, went back by just a few minutes later, perhaps two to three minutes later, the vehicle was gone. Uh, and then a short time later, perhaps two to three minutes beyond that, uh, so now we're up to perhaps 836, 837, somewhere around there, um, that same local resident saw that vehicle traveling uh, westbound on Higby, uh, Higby Road and turned southbound on Jackson Creek Parkway, which of course would feed back into that main shopping center area that's located near Baptist Road uh, and Jackson Creek, and then of course very close to the interstate from there. At the time that that observation was made, when the vehicle was in motion, if you will, uh, it was observed to be occupied by one person. We have no description on that one person. We don't know if it's male or female or any further details there. But we certainly have an interest in uh, further identifying this vehicle that that local resident observed last night around that 8.30 hour and then again a few minutes uh, uh, later down on Higby Road turning on Jackson Creek. If anybody has information regarding that vehicle, sounds familiar to you, or other people made the same or similar observation last night, we certainly want to have that information so we can follow up on it more readily. And you can certainly reach uh, the Sheriff's Office through that non-emergency line of 719-390-5555. Uh, um, I'll continue to follow up with our investigators uh, here over the next uh, uh, several uh, uh, minutes and hours to come. And if we have additional updates, we'll certainly get those to you as soon as we can. I'll just take a, just a couple questions. Did when this vehicle... person who saw this vehicle or this neighbor here, are they talking at all about if they saw one driver, or two people in the car, three people in the car, are they think anything of that sort? Well, again, during the first observation of this vehicle, when it was parked near the intersection of Colonial Park and Scarsbrook Court, it was not occupied at that time, but the vehicle was running which of course uh, elevates kind of the, the suspicious nature of that observation, so to speak. Uh, when it was observed uh, just a handful of minutes later, traveling west on Higby, turning south on Jackson Creek, uh, it was observed to have one occupant, but again, there's no description of that occupant. Was that person driving erratically at the time? Uh, there's no description as far as the, the uh, driving behavior that was observed. Yeah, we're, we're talking about an older model, uh, boxy type vehicle, a boxy style vehicle, something similar to what we might expect from a 90s model Lincoln uh, vehicle. However, it's not definitive that it was a Lincoln. As far as color, to reiterate that, it was either black or dark colored and was described as being very shiny and it is a two-door vehicle. Is there any security or surveillance material at this house or equipment at this house? Uh, I'm not aware of any surveillance equipment, but uh, uh, but I'm not for certain, but I'm not aware of any, any uh, surveillance equipment that we might uh, be able to capture uh, any footage of, of that or any other information regarding the case. Was there more than one witness of this car? Not at this time, but we're hoping that there were additional witnesses, and we hope by getting this information out that if there are other witnesses uh, pertaining to this vehicle, this sighting, they'll certainly step forward and let us know. So hopefully we can uh, further identify that vehicle and hopefully the driver and occupant. Is there any description on a plate? Uh, we don't know if the shooting was random at this point. We're very early in the investigation. Uh, we have no suspect at this point. Uh, and because we have no suspect, we can't identify a motive. And so we're certainly sensitive to the fact that uh, 
Uh, Mr. Clements was uh, the executive director of the uh, Colorado Department of Corrections. We we're sensitive to the fact that that opens up the possibilities for different people who may want to target him for one reason or another. However, we remain open-minded to all the other possibilities as well. Uh, we need to remain open-minded so that we don't miss something along the way during the course of this investigation. Did Mr. Clements have any security because of his job? Uh, I'm not aware of any, any security that he had or did not have. Uh, that's something that perhaps uh, the Department of Corrections could speak to a little bit better. Any information on license plates? There's, uh, there's no information regarding the license plate on that vehicle. Obviously, that is some information that would be very valuable to us. Uh, so we're hoping if there was an additional sighting of this car, that that might be something that we would be able to learn. Uh, I was asked, asked earlier and wasn't able to, to respond as far as the uh, any number of agencies that we have assisting us during the course of this investigation. There actually are a number of them, and I'll apologize to any of them that I may forget as I, as I run through that list. But uh, we're being provided assistance by, of course, the Department of Corrections, uh, Colorado Bureau of Investigations, uh, the Attorney General's Office, the District Attorney's Office here locally, uh, Inspector General, etc. So we have a number of folks who are either assisting with some of the efforts um, on scene or assisting in providing uh, various levels of information that could prove valuable as we move forward in this investigation. Have you had a chance, sir, yet to talk to everyone in this neighborhood? Uh, we, we have covered a lot of ground in terms of our neighborhood canvas, uh, talking with everybody in the area. Uh, we have a high level of confidence that we've reached almost everyone. However, uh, we continue to, to go door to door for any chance that we may have missed someone. And certainly if there's anybody in the area uh, that, that uh, we have not had a chance to speak with, and uh, for them to give us a call proactively, that would certainly be welcomed as well. We're certainly glad to hear anything they have to say. Uh, again, uh, that's it for now, and I'll provide some additional updates when I have them. Thank you very much.